Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to this meeting. Hello. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming to our Cabinet meeting of Wednesday the 9th of May. Please be advised this meeting will be recorded and posted on the Council's YouTube channel. Can all those speaking ensure you switch on your microphone before addressing the meeting and remember to switch it off when you have finished speaking? When voting, can members please raise their hand? Um, item one, apologies for absence. Uh, Councillor Avril Lacau uh, and Councillor Mariam Lolivar. Uh, I see no other apologies. Thank you. Item two, any urgent business? There is none, uh, no urgent business. Item three, any declarations of interest? Does any member have a personal or financial interest to declare on any item on the agenda? No, item four, is Cabinet happy to agree the minutes of the last meeting? If you are, please raise your hand in agreement. Thank you very much. Uh, and we now move on to item five, the determination on statutory notice to close Holy Family RC Primary School. Um, do members require a briefing on this? Um, do members have any comments or questions? Councillor Matt Morrow. Thank you, Chair. Um, so I'd first like to say that obviously considering closing a school is not something that any local authority would do lightly. lightly. Um, it's, a, it's a very significant step and of course it impacts on the whole community, on parents, on children who are attending the school. Um, and on the staff as well who are looking for new jobs. And I want to be clear that this is not a reflection on the good staff or the good work of the pupils um, or on the community itself. And, of course, you know, we feel for those um, children who are now looking for a new place. Um, if you're seven and you, you go to a school and, and like it, you don't yet know that you're going to meet lots of wonderful new friends in your next school. It just feels like a, you know, a really big change. So we acknowledge that this is a significant step and it's not something we would do lightly. There is a, a process set out in the report. Everything has been followed um, as it should be. And the, the core reasons for us arriving at this point is that there is a drop in pupil numbers for primary school aged children across London. And however things work out, that will show up somewhere. Um, so it's a difficult situation. It particularly impacts on um, schools that are a single form of entry. Um, but that, that reduction in pupil numbers will show up somewhere. And because the funding comes with the pupil numbers, inevitably there will be school closures, which has happened across London. So um, Greenwich, uh, we, we have worked closely with the diocese who are very committed to providing education, still committed to providing good schools in our borough. Um, we will continue to do so and we also have um, a piece of work that's, that's going forward that helps those schools who have single forms of entries to manage their budgets so that they can stay on top of the situation. So we are concerned but we are offering support um, to minimise the impact of the fall in numbers and at some point we expect the numbers to go back up um, but for the minute um, this is the place that we've arrived at and I think this is the, the right decision to go ahead and close the school. Uh, or to recommend the, the, the closure. Um, so um, I have met with um, parents who are concerned about this and many of the points they made to me are reflected in the report along with the responses. Um, but um, with all due respect to the, you know, the staff and the, the brilliant pupils, I think this is the right way to go at this point. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Morrow. Um, it's always difficult to make these kind of decisions uh, because, you know, a school isn't just a school, it's actually a community um, in that sense. And uh, the closure of that um, uh, always has an impact on the local community. So I want to thank you uh, and the directors for all the work they've done in managing this situation, um, engaging with parents, engaging with families, engaging with the school leadership team, and engaging with the diocese. Um, one thing I would add is that, you know, our priority is about getting the best education for our children and young people. Uh, and the risk in this situation is, you know, not have enough staff uh, in the school uh, uh, because of the difficulties of falling roles um, to be able to provide that education. So I'm, I'm grateful for all, all the narrative you've put out explaining the, the, the difficulties that have come and arisen um, with this school. Um, our 
Do members have any other comments or questions? I see none. Are members happy to agree to the decisions as outlined in section 1.1 to 1.4 of the report? If you are, please raise your hand. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm going to skirt back up the agenda to item four. Um, are, is Cabinet happy to agree the minutes of the last meeting? Thank you very much. All right, that brings this meeting back to a close. Thank you.